what's going on everybody we're outside today it is a beautiful sunday it's raining just a little bit but today we're going to dig up some strawberry plants and transplant them out into roads we're going to spread them out four feet like a four foot wide road or something we'll probably put the plants a foot apart that way we can pick off all the flowers and let them grow new plants and we'll send off runners and new plants pick off the flowers the first year let me turn this around and i'll show you what the planting looks like that we put in a few years ago and we're going to separate these out and do it again most of these are strawberries. <clears throat> Some of them have flowers. We're gonna pick these flowers off this year. And I'm gonna fill up this container with a bunch of strawberry plants and we're gonna transplant them out into new beds. We're outside today. It's April 14th. It's a Tuesday today. And we are gonna make a raised bed for strawberries out of recycled material. We're gonna do a quick cleanup. And we'll make some time-lapse videos and let all this come together. And we're gonna transplant out 40 strawberry plants and turn them into 200 strawberry plants within a year's time. This is gonna be this year's Earth Day project. I'm gonna show you the area that I'm gonna be building this in before we start and then the rest will be in time-lapse videos. And I will do a little bit more explaining over top of the videos as it goes on. But I hope you enjoy. This is the area we're gonna be cleaning. We're gonna put these pallets in this area. We're gonna layer it with cardboard and then we're gonna fill it in with dirt. Then we're gonna compost it, a little bit of wood chips, and we're gonna turn these three pallets into a producing functional strawberry bed. First, I need to clear out a space to put down the cardboard. We've got some debris to move and I need to level out the terrain. It's a little bit uneven, but we're gonna have it nice and flat by the end of the video. Just pull all the heavy material to one side, along with the dirt and the rocks and anything that's in there. It doesn't matter what's there, the weeds, they can stay there. We're gonna lay down the cardboard a little bit after this. And there's the cardboard. All this is recycled cardboard. And after you get a good layer down, you just place the pallet over top and line it up with the next pallet. And we're gonna do that for three entire pallets. I could probably go further, but this is just a small pallet. Now I'm filling in the sides with the rocks that I pulled out of the area because I don't want any of that material escaping once I start to fill these in and I want to hide all of that extra cardboard out of the view of eye. I'll just keep piling mulch onto this pile year after year as it grows. I'm just going to go all the way around the perimeter with the rocks and rake some dirt up on the sides of it. It's going to help keep all of that material in there and we're going to start to fill buckets. So at this stage, I'm filling in the individual slots 
with dirt. It's pretty good earth. It's been composting for a few years. Pretty clean earth. And that's gonna be two thirds of the way full with this potting soil type dirt. And then we'll fill the rest in with the mulch material, composted mulch. Overall, it took 12 five gallon buckets full of dirt. It took four for each pallet to fill in the negative space. And they filled about two thirds of the way up. And look, there's my grandma. That's my grandma right there. <laughs> what was taking so long with filling in these slots is pushing the dirt back and under the boards. I would get all of the rocks out and put it along the sides because I line the entire sides with rocks to help hold the dirt and the mulch that we're going to put down later inside the pallets to keep that micro environment all within the same area. I really feel like when you plant a garden or do anything with passion, it becomes a work of art. So this is a work of art in the making. Check it out. This is the finished bed. Today we're gonna get some strawberries in the ground. And let's get to the time lapse. What's going on everybody? This is Jay live from West Virginia. And we are adding the strawberries now. I decided to get Felicia to help me with this project. We decided to put in two strawberries per slot. It gives us a total of 16 plants per pallet. We have three pallets, so there's a little bit of math involved, but it's not that hard. Emily decided that she would help us. That's my sister. She's doing a little bit of the planting, and then she does a little bit of the filming, but we are getting these plants tucked away. And they are going to be happy sitting on top of this cardboard with no weeds or other plants to compete with. Now we're going to pull back this tarp and we're going to mix in these deciduous leaves that have fallen in the fall into this mulch pile. And that's going to inoculate this mulch with a mycorrhizal fungi. It's going to add isopods, it's going to add nematodes, it's going to add all kind of beneficial microorganisms and fungi to this growing system and it's going to make a good microsphere within the roots of the plants and it's really healthy stuff so we're going to finish tucking this bed away and next year we'll pull off these boards and spread the strawberries out into the full width of the row and all the negative space will fill it in and the last step here is to do a little bit of watering. We're gonna water this bed in. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was informational. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Felicia. And happy, happy Earth, Earth Day. Day.